humanity has experienced and keeps experiencing revolutions in different areas. The digital revolution that started in the 1950s swept the world by storm, brought about by computing and communication technology with the creation of the first general purpose electronic computers. We also have industrial, digital, agricultural, and social revolutions amongst others. These are just a few examples of the many revolutions that have shaped our world. Each of these revolutions has had a significant impact on human society and has brought about both positive and negative changes. Today, we are on the brink of another powerful technological revolution. But truthfully, the AI revolution is nothing humanity has witnessed before. The pace at which the AI world is growing is quite alarming. In 2022, a machine was developed which has been trained to converse with humans like a peer through chatbots. And this machine has led to a massive intervention of other similar models. These technologies are a hundred times faster than humans can recall and provide answers in such a short time that would be impossible for humans. In June of 2020, OpenAI released GPT-3, a language model with 175 billion parameters that can generate coherent and human-like text. This model has been widely praised for its ability to perform a variety of language tasks, including translation, question answering, and even creative writing. GPT-3 has spurred a renewed interest in large-scale language models, and many researchers are now working on developing even more powerful models. The release of the higher version of this model, ChatGPT4, has caused a lot of changes in the digital industry. Some other AI machines are said to have the ability to teach themselves superhuman skills, and this could be the reason why people are scared of being replaced. The CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai, said there is a mismatch between the level at which humans are trying to adapt to the existence of these machines and the level at which these technologies are evolving. This is entirely true because we keep waking up to new realities about the AI world daily when there are people who are still oblivious to the existence of these technologies. He also believes that AI will be as good or as evil as human nature allows. Google dominates the search engine market to a significant degree. Or it is used to dominate because it is only a matter of time before these AI chatbots take over the search engine market. According to StatCounter, as of April 2021, Google held a global market share of over 92% in the search engine market. This means that over 9 out of 10 internet searches are conducted using Google. The closest competitor to Google is Bing. Other search engines such as Yahoo and Baidu hold even smaller market shares. However, Google's dominance in the search engine market was attacked in February, when Microsoft linked its search engine, Bing, to one of OpenAI's chatbots. In a race for AI's dominance, Google just released its AI chatbot called Bard. The first thing we learned about Bard is that it does not look for answers on the internet as Google Search does. According to Google's senior vice president and vice president, Bard's replies come from a self-contained program that is mostly self-taught. Bard appears to possess some human knowledge, with microchips more than a hundred thousand times faster than the human brain. In test running Bard, it was asked to summarize the New Testament of the Holy Bible, and it did in just five seconds. This was its reply. The New Testament is the story of God's love for humanity, which was revealed through Jesus Christ. Also, with the six-word prompt, Bard generated a human story with characters that left us astonished. This new technology is incredibly amazing. There seems to be a wide difference between it and OpenAI's chatbot, ChatGPT. Unlike ChatGPT, it has been trained on a language model that admits that it does not have emotions and feelings. Bard seems to be thinking and making judgments. When it was prompted and asked, why do you help people, Bard's response was, because it makes me happy. Even though his machine is not aware of itself, it can give responses that look like it, because it has learned of humans. Google's senior vice president of technology and society, James Manyika, said his role is to think and come up with how AI and humanity would best coexist. A lot of people will be replaced by this technology as some job categories will decline over time. Nevertheless, some other job categories will grow over time. The biggest change will be jobs that will have their definitions changed. They will not be completely replaced, but rather their job description will be modified due to the existence of these technologies. AI is experiencing a mysterious aspect called emergent properties. This helps us to know that some AI systems are teaching themselves skills that they want to have. How this happens is not yet fully explained. One of Google's AI systems was prompted in the language of Bangladesh, whereas it was not trained in the language. After the prompting, it soon began to respond in Bangladesh. Google's AI apparently learned Bangla without any training. 
Google CEO Sundar Pichai acknowledged during the interview that there is a black box aspect to AI that even experts can't explain, admitting that they don't fully understand how it happens. This is beginning to sound scary. If these machines are capable of teaching themselves to do things and learn skills that they were not specifically trained to do, then what will they evolve into tomorrow? Especially since the developers do not even understand fully how the machines can do that. What other signs are we waiting for before we accept that a revolution is here? A time is coming, and it is not far from now, when AIs will be used in dangerous mining sites, rescue scenes, and construction industries instead of humans. This will open the way for new and different job categories while those who were originally performing the tasks of the AI systems will be replaced. DeepMind, a British artificial intelligence research company founded in 2010 by Demis Hassabis, Mustafa Suleiman, and Shane Legg, has gained significant achievements over time. It has been able to develop AI robots that are coded to play football, chess, and other games. These machines are not taught to play these games, they are rather allowed to teach themselves or learn through picture motion techniques. In 2015, DeepMind was acquired by Google for an estimated $500 million. Since then, the company has continued to work on developing advanced AI technologies in various areas such as healthcare, climate, modeling, and robotics. DeepMind's AlphaZero program is an AI that learns to play games like chess by playing against itself millions of times, resulting in creative strategies no human has ever thought of. One of DeepMind's notable achievements is the development of AlphaFold, an AI system that can predict the 3D structure of proteins with high accuracy. This is a process that could take years with traditional methods. This breakthrough has significant implications for drug discovery and disease research. Other robots are being trained to respond to human speech rather than text. We can now have robots serving people at bars and restaurants effortlessly. This is a kind of transition that mankind has never witnessed, so we should not be shocked at how people react to all of this out of fearful hearts. Truth is, nobody wants to be replaced. To add that, some of Google's employees are quitting is even more alarming. In its early years, DeepMind focused on developing AI algorithms that could play complex strategy games such as Go and Chess. The company gained international attention in 2016 when its AlphaGo algorithm defeated the world champion Go player, Lee Sedol, in a highly publicized match. Seeing how fast the achievements of this company have grown over time, and how much farther they are willing to take their discoveries, the rush to develop more AIs comes with questions and challenges that need to be addressed by society. Do you think our society is ready for the kind of revolution that is already beginning to take place? Our society may not be fully prepared for what's coming, but more people are beginning to worry about the implications of the release of different AIs. Another pressing question regarding the development of AI is how it will be used and what ethical guidelines will govern its use. These are concerns about how AI could be used to automate decision-making processes, potentially leading to biases or discrimination. Job displacement is no longer a topic of discussion under the rise of AI because it is a certainty. AI will impact every company and change the definitions of many jobs, but will also create new job categories. How about transparency? There are also concerns about the transparency of AI systems, particularly if they are used to make decisions that impact people's lives. AI systems must be transparent and explainable so that people can understand how decisions are being made. AI systems are only as unbiased as the data they are trained on. There are also concerns that AI systems could perpetuate existing biases and inequalities in society if not developed and deployed with fairness in mind. There are just a few of the many questions and challenges that come with the development of AI in society. These issues must be carefully considered and addressed to ensure that the benefits of AI are realized while minimizing potential negative impacts on humanity. Without a doubt, 2023 marks the beginning of the AI revolution. The year when AI applications are predicted to become innovative enough to truly transform the way we live. From healthcare to transportation, AI is set to revolutionize every sector with its advancements in automation and critical thinking capabilities. The signs are everywhere, and we better get prepared for it. Enjoyed the video? Now, watch this one.